guys. Good morning, good morning. My name is Jenna. I'm a master trainer with Club Pilates in Indy. And I thought I would bring you a free 30 minute math class today. Today's class theme is guns and guns. So all you need is a hand towel and a mat. If you don't have a mat, just grab yourself a bath towel. Um, and maybe set yourself up on some carpet so your space is a little bit softer because we're going to do some kneeling work. But we're going to go ahead and get started. So we're going to start on your backs today with your arms down by your sides and your feet parallel or hip socket distance apart. So we're going to bring the arms down by the sides and start with some bridges. We're just going to get warmed up first before we get into the, into the good stuff, okay? So arms down by your sides and I want you to press through your heels and hinge from your hips to lift up. Inhale, lower your hips down and exhale, lift them up. Starting out nice and slow with our movement, pressing through the heels, focus on squeezing your glutes and your abdominals together as you bridge the hips up, and then lower the hips back down with control. Yeah, the control is the most important part, but the down move would be just as important as the up move. Think about pressing the hands down by the sides, opening up through the chest and collarbone as you lift up, as we start to think about our posture, Squeeze those buns, exhale, lift, inhale, come down with control. Good. One more time. We're going to pause with your hips lifted and then do little pulses, pulsing your hips up and up and up. Good. Feet are parallel. Think about pressing through your heels to squeeze your glutes. Little short exhales with each pulse for two and one, and then we'll lower your hips back down. From here, we're gonna go into some abdominal work. So I want you to hug your knees into your chest. Elbows are gonna go wide, and then take your legs up to tabletop. Now from here, you'll use your abdominals to lift your head and chest up and keep it lifted. And then we're gonna exhale, extend one leg out for single leg stretch, and then switch legs, and switch. So alternating legs here, think about reaching your toes away from your head, and you want to try and avoid crunching your chin into your chest like this. Imagine you like a, like a tennis ball between your chin and your chest, and you're trying to keep it stable the whole time. Use that exhale to deepen your abdominal contraction. Now keep your legs going, take your hands behind your head, add a twist. Twist towards your bent leg. So these exercises come from something in the Pilates world that we call the series of five. Um, some instructors call it the vacation ab series too because it's a really tough ab series. I'm going to keep my head and chest lifted uh, the whole time here, but you're welcome to lower your head and chest down and then lift it back up when you're ready. Yeah, listen to your body and what you need today. <sighs> Exhale each time you twist. <sighs> Good. One more on each side. Coming back into the middle, we're going to extend your legs up to the sky and slide your hands up to your calves. Exhale, pull one leg in towards your head, pull it in two times, and switch legs. So as you pull the leg in towards your chest, I want you to keep your head and chest stable and still, and focus on bringing your leg towards your body so you get a stretch in your hamstring on the back of your thigh here. So this exercise is kind of serving us twofold. And switch. Good. Stay lifted, guys. Hang in there. Alternating legs. Now pause. Bring both legs up to the sky. Lower your head and chest back down. Lift the head and chest back up. We're going to scissor the legs apart. So one leg lowers as the other leg lifts. Good. Alternating legs here. Think of drawing your belly button in towards your spine. Try and reach your toes long so your legs are extended and straight. Good. We'll do one more on each leg. Meet me back at the top of those legs. Lower your head and chest down and bring your arms down by your sides and then just slide them just underneath your tushy for a little bit of support and turn your feet into a Pilates knee. So that means your heels are together and your toes are apart and your legs are extended. And we're going to lower both legs straight down towards the floor and then exhale, lift them back up. Inhale, lower your legs down and exhale, lift them up. Inhale down, feel those abs, exhale to draw them back up. Now, as you draw your legs up, focus on using your abdominals. We're trying to maintain pelvic stability the whole time here. Last one, 
and then bend those legs back down and lower the legs down to the floor. From here, I want you guys to grab your towels. We're just gonna fold it long ways and then hold on to it with each hand and extend your legs. From here, I want you to hold your towel all the way up overhead with your arms shoulder width apart and then gently try and pull the, the towel apart from right to left. We're gonna scoop through the belly and roll all the way up, taking the hands first Stretching up and over. Think about reaching your hands over your feet and then scoop your belly and slowly, sequentially roll back down one vertebrae at a time. Now, if you've been taking classes with me since this started, hopefully your roll-ups have gotten better. If the roll-ups are still feeling tough, pro tip here, you can take that same towel and fold it up and place it right at the small of your back. And as you roll down, the floor becomes just a little bit higher and it can give you just a little bit more help that you need to roll all the way back up, yeah? Otherwise, hang on to that towel and continue to try and tear it apart from left to right so that you get to feel uh, your scapular muscles working as well. Those are some of the muscles that support your shoulder blades uh, for posture. Scooping through the belly, hang in there guys, rolling back down and then taking the arms all the way back overhead. Last one, we're gonna roll all the way up and pause in a seated position here. Now from here, we're gonna fold your mat and then just scoot your buns to the edge of it here with your mat folded. And then you'll take your towel and fold it up uh, like, like this and then fold it in half again. And we're gonna put your right foot on top of the towel, left foot on the floor, and then lay all the way back down. So, from here, arms are down by your sides. We're gonna go back to your bridge. So I want you to bridge your hips up, and it should feel a little bit more challenging with the towel underneath your right thigh, or underneath your foot, it's gonna feel more challenging on the back of the right thigh and your hamstring. Now pause with your hips lifted, slide your right leg out, press your heel into the floor, and drag your foot back in. Inhale, reach your foot away. Exhale, press through the floor to pull back for a hamstring curl. So what I want you guys to feel here are the backs of your thighs and your uh, leg that's moving and your glute in the leg that's staying stable. So I'm feeling left glute, right hamstring. The more you press your foot into the floor, the more you're gonna feel that muscle burn. Good, one more time here. And then we'll lower your hips all the way down and switch feet. So we'll move the towel to, uh, to underneath your left foot, right foot's playing on the floor. Bridge your hips up to the sky. Squeeze that right cheek before you move. Slide your left leg away. Dig your heel into the floor to drag it back in. Inhale, reach away. Exhale, pull it back in. Try and keep the connection from your abdominals uh, by bringing your hips and your ribs together. Inhale, slide the foot away. Exhale, press through the floor to pull it back. And again, reach it out. Exhale, slide it in. One more time, reach away. Exhale, pull it back in. And lower your hips back down. Whew. Good. Now from here, we're going to turn your towel um, the other direction so that it fits underneath both feet while your feet are still parallel hip distance apart. Now we're going to do both legs. It's going to get really fun, really fast. So bring your arms back down by your sides, and you'll notice I have my toes off and my heels are on the towel. Think of your toes as like your emergency brake here, yeah? So we'll bridge the hips up, flex the toes off the floor, inhale, reach your legs away from you, exhale, whew, pull them back in. Yeah, that's aggressive. Inhale out, exhale, whew, use your hamstrings to draw the legs back in. Feeling the glutes and the hamstrings on the backs of the thighs. And I only want you to push your legs out as far as you feel like you can control. So if you've just stopped a little bit short, that's okay. Good, one more here. Exhale, pull it back in, and then lower your hips all the way down. Oh, goodness. Now, just kick your towel out of the way. We're gonna bridge your hips up, and then kick that mat out from underneath you, and then roll over onto your belly, yeah? So, next we're gonna go into some swimming, some back body work, um, before we keep going on the buns and guns train. So reach your arms and legs out in an X shape. From here, eyeballs are gonna be down towards the floor, press your pubic bone into the mat, squeeze your glutes, 
Engage your abdominals and float your arms, legs, and chest up off the ground. Now we're going to lift opposite arm and leg. So one arm lifts up as the opposite leg's up, and we'll switch. And switch. Try and keep your legs straight, reaching your toes away from your hands. Feel that oppositional pull from one side to the other. So what you'll feel here are all the muscles in your back. Try and sink your shoulders away from your ears. You're going to feel this exercise in the um, smaller muscles at your low back as well. That's okay. Do one more on each side, and then go ahead and relax everything down for a second. Yeah. And then we're going to do it again. So same move, a little bit faster this time. So squeeze your glutes, reach the arms and legs away, lift the arms and legs up, try and keep the abs tight, lift arm and leg, and switch, and switch, and switch, and switch. Now focus on squeezing your glutes and your hamstrings to lift your legs up back there. Slide your shoulders away from your ears and swim faster. Kick in, kick in, kick in, kick. Good, a little bit faster. Think like there's a shark chasing you. Oh gosh, you swim a lot faster, right? For three, and two, and one. Oh, and go ahead and relax down. Now from here, go ahead and just press your hands into your shoulders. Sit yourself back into a little child's pose stretch. Reach your tailbone down to your heels and then walk your hands away from your head. <sighs> Try and relax your chest to your shoulders. Feel that nice stretch in your lap underneath your armpits, which is awesome because those muscles tend to get really tight when you do a lot of sitting. Um, or like computer work from your couch. <laughs> Sounds like everyone we know right now, right? Okay, so next we're going to go into some four-point kneeling work. So four-point kneeling means that you're on your hands and knees, your hands are underneath your shoulders, and your knees are underneath your hips. Now we're going to get really into some glute work here. So I want you to bring your left leg straight up behind you with your toes on the floor, and then try and have your weight be equal between your left hand and your right knee. Right hand is just there for love and support. We're going to squeeze that left glute, lift the leg up, and lower it down. Keeping the leg straight and the pelvis square here, I only want you to lift your leg up as high as you can keep your pelvis stable which means that as your legs come up, or your leg comes up, that your low back isn't changing positions because your abdominals are working so hard to keep it still. Now pause with your leg lifted, bend your foot up towards the sky, kick your heel up, and then lower it down. Kick your heel up, and lower down. The more you can engage your abdominals as you lift and lower your leg, the more effective this will feel for the glutes versus the low back. Let it hang in there, guys. Tushy's starting to shake a little. Last one. And lower your leg down. Going straight out to the side with the knee, and then back down for fire hydrant. So the knee goes straight out to the side, and then back down towards the floor. Now I only want you to lift your knee up as high as you can keep your pelvis stable. Starting to sound familiar, right? So instead of lifting your knee all the way up to the ceiling so that your butt rotates, it's a lot more effective for that glute meat on the outside of the hip if you can keep the pelvis square towards the floor. Good. If your elbows hyperextend like mine, meaning they can go past straight, I want you to try and slide the shoulders away from your ears and soften them down. Good. Now pause with the leg down. Extend your same leg, so we're still on that left leg. I know, buns are on fire. Extend that left leg, pick it back up. You're gonna draw a rainbow with your foot out to the side, towards the left. And then lift your foot off the floor and draw a rainbow across your midline past the right hip. So big rainbow up and over. And then big rainbow back from where you came from. Got it. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm definitely feeling that left glute, but I also feel a lot of working my right glute from stabilizing, right? So if you're feeling it in both legs, that's really common. Hang in there. Can you bring your shoulders a little bit further away from your ears? Do one more, tapping it out to the side, tapping it across the body, bringing it back up, and lowering the leg down. Good, resting for just a second. I'm just gonna spin around so you guys can still see me over here, but we're gonna do the same thing on the other leg. So still on your hands and knees. You can always come onto your fists if your wrists are getting tired, yeah? 
So from here, extend your right leg back behind you. Equal weight between your right hand and your left knee. We're gonna float the right foot up off the floor and then lower the leg down. Lift it up and lower down. Now remember, just like we did on the other side, I only want you to lift your leg as high as you can keep your pelvis stable and still. So what that means is, as your leg lifts up, we want to try and eliminate the arch that happens at your low back. Good. Pause with your leg lifted. Bend that leg up. Kick your heel to the side and lower it back down. Kick it up and back down. Now, for this one, it's the same thing. Think about pressing your hip down towards the floor as you kick your heel to the side. So it's a little bit more effective for the glute on the back of the hip versus the low back. Good, two more here. Hang in there and lower that leg down. Fire hydrate your knee out to the side and lower. Lift it out and lower. Now, if your wrists are getting tired, spread your fingers wide on the mat and try and press your fingertips into the floor to help distribute the weight throughout your hand. And only lift your knee up as high as you can keep the pelvis parallel to the floor meaning that the right hip is still pointed down towards the mat. Good, all the booty burning here. One more time, pause with that leg, down, extend it back behind you, lift it up, and tap it down out to the side. Lift it up, across your body to the other side. So we're going back to our rainbow leg. Lift, across, and lower. Lift, across, and lower. Now this is the one where yes, you're feeling your right leg, which is the leg that's moving, burn, but you also feel that left leg, which is the supporting leg burning here. Hang in there, guys. Last one, tap it all the way across the midline, bring it back through center, relax the knee down, sit back on those hips, reach the arms forward in front of you, nice stretch of that little back and tush. Maybe take a gentle rock from side to side. Yeah, okay. Now from here, we're gonna do some kneeling side overs. So you're gonna have your knees on the mat right in the middle, and then we're gonna grab your towel, long ways again, um, you can fold it one more time if you want to, and hold it in your hands. And then from here, I want you to reach your left leg out to the side, and then I'm gonna hold my arms straight overhead, but I know you guys can't see them when I take them overhead here. So slide your shoulder blades down your back, I want you to inhale, take your arms and towel overhead, and then exhale, bring them up. Inhale over to the side, and exhale, bring it up. Now, as you lower away from your leg towards the right, you're gonna feel those left obliques start to kick on, right? So that's the muscles on the side of the torso here. Think about tearing the towel apart from right to left to help keep the shoulders engaged. Inhale down, exhale up. Now pause halfway over so you're in a straight diagonal line. Lower and lift, lower and lift. Little pulses. Try and keep the core pulled in tight here. For three, and two, and one, and come all the way up. And relax those arms down. Good job, guys. Now from here, I want you to take your arms into a T and laterally flex to the side. So you put your right hand on the ground, left hand is to the sky, and we're gonna get a little side booty action in. So from here, lift your foot up off the ground and then tap your toes down. Lift your heel and lower. So as you lift your leg up, focus on that glute knee muscle on the outside of the hip. I like to flex my foot here and point my toes straight forward, keeping my leg parallel, so that I feel this move a little bit more in that glute knee on the back of the hip and a little bit less in my hip flexor on the front. Good, and one more time. Pause with your leg lifted, pulse that heel up. And up, and up. Good, hang in there. Try not to let the pelvis move. For three, and two, and one, and bring that leg down. And sit yourself all the way down, keeping the legs bent. We're gonna go into a single arm tricep press. So my right hand is on the ground. My legs are folded and bent off to the left side. I want you to roll both shoulder blades down and back. Fingertips are pointed straight forward. Shift your weight into your hand. Bend at your elbow, setting your elbow straight back behind you. 
and then press in the heel, the hand come up. Bend at the elbow, lower down, exhale, press up. Now this exercise is much more effective if you can focus on your posture at the same time. So really think about sliding both shoulders away from your ears and focus on sending your elbow straight back behind you. Trying to keep the fingers pressed into the mat as well. And if you're wanting this to be a little bit more challenging, all you have to do is shift more weight into your arm and have less weight in your legs and hips. Now pause halfway down. We're gonna come up an inch and down an inch. Up an inch and down an inch. Feel the burn, yeah. All right, slide those shoulders down. Grow tall through the crown of your head for three and two and one and come all the way up. Whew. Take that arm across your body. Give yourself a gentle stretch for that tricep and back of the shoulder. Sink your shoulder far away from your ears so that you feel this in your tricep and posterior cuff on the back of the shoulder. Okay, I don't know about you guys, I'm getting a little sweaty over here. <laughs> and then relax the arms down, and we're going to do the uh, side arms on the other side. So grab your towel again, come back to kneeling, and then we're going to extend your right leg out to the side this time, and take your arms back up overhead, straight overhead. Inhale to the left, and then exhale, use those obliques to come up. So as you flex to the side, try and pull that top right shoulder back so it's in line with the rest of your body. So if I looked at you from the side, you'd be in a straight line from the crown of your head all the way through that right heel. Inhale down and exhale up. Last one, pause on the diagonal, lower an inch and lift an inch. Lower an inch and lift an inch. Should feel that right side burning. Take, see if you can take your hands back behind you three more inches. Go ahead, last one, come all the way up. Go ahead and just drop your towel. Arms go out into a T. Laterally flex up and over to the side. So my left hand is on the floor, right foot's on the floor. I'm gonna flex my foot, float my right heel up off the floor, and then lower down. Now as I lift up, I want you guys to feel these muscles right here on the side of the abs your obliques to help stabilize your torso because if your torso is stable and your pelvis is stable then you're going to feel this exercise a lot more effectively in those glute mean muscles on the outsides of the hips yeah and i talked about this with you guys before so glute mean really important muscle supports low back pelvis knees and ankles yeah really really important pause with your leg lifted pulse your foot up and up and up Good, hang in there guys. Make those pulses count. Stabilize your shoulders and pelvis for a two and one. And bend the leg again. Go ahead and have a seat. Legs are bent towards the right side. Left hand is on the ground with the fingers straight forward through your tricep press here. So we're gonna roll the shoulders down and back, bend at the elbow, and then press from the hand to come up. So remember, fingers are pointed straight forward so that your elbow can go straight back behind you. We're rolling the shoulder blades down and back. We're really trying to leave them there forever, but at least for this exercise. Yeah, I know if you wanna make this more challenging, shift your weight out of your legs and into your hand. You can really control how much weight you have in that arm. Inhale down, exhale, press through the heel, the hand to come up. Now pause in that bent position, halfway down, come up an inch and down an inch. Bring both shoulders away from your ears, create lots of space between your shoulders and your earlobes. Good, two more, last one. Oh, come all the way up, bring that arm across your body, gentle pull here, sink your shoulder away from your ear. And you wanna feel this stretch in the posterior cuff and tricep, so we'll hold that for the shoulder and the arm. Good. Now from here, I want you guys um, to just go ahead and sit crisscross applesauce so your legs are bent. Perfect. Doing good on time here. We're just going to do a little side body stretch. So let's put your right hand on the floor, left arm out to the side, leg if it doesn't really matter, and then stretch up and over to the side. Nice big side body stretch here. Think about reaching your hand away from your uh, hip that's in contact with the floor. And then switch sides. Stretch that arm up and over. 
Now my elbow hits the arm, I have long arms and a short torso, so it's not very far for me to go, but if you have a longer torso or shorter arms, your elbow might not hit, and that's okay. Good. Now this time, you're gonna um, hold opposite hand to wrist. So I'm gonna hold my right hand on my left wrist, take my hands back overhead, and then stretch back over to the right side, trying to pull my arm away from my shoulder to feel a greater stretch through my left armpit. It's also tougher in your core, more challenging to stabilize here. And then we'll switch sides. So hold my left hand on my right wrist and laterally flex to the opposite side. Nice big side body stretch. And then stack it back up. Bring both arms down and find your towel again. So from here, we're gonna hold your towel in your hands with your palms face up towards the sky. Um, arms are about shoulder width apart, sink your shoulders away from your ears, and I want you to try and tear your towel apart from right to left. Bicep curl your hands in towards your face, and then stretch your arms back out. And as you curl your arms in, we're pausing at about 90 degrees. And I want you to focus on really actively flexing your bicep in your upper arm with your brain. Yeah, because there's no resistance, so the only resistance you can create is the one, uh, is the internal resistance. Right? Exhale, curl in. Inhale, reach out. Good. A couple more. If crisscross applesauce isn't comfortable for you, you can really sit however works. Yeah. And two. And one more. Pausing with the arms straight. We're going to try and take your arms overhead with your palms face up and back down. So this one's for the front of the shoulder and for that bicep. And I only want you to take your arms up overhead as high as you can keep your shoulders down. Yeah, so even if that means your hands don't come all the way overhead today, that's okay. But it'll be better for your um, upper trap muscles if you can keep your shoulders down. Your upper traps are the muscles right at the base of your neck. Good. Can you grow taller from the crown of your head to your tailbone? So sit up really tall here. Starting to feel the burn. How about you guys? Two and one more. Now we'll pause with your arms down and just flip your grip on the towel so that your palms are face down. And then from here, row the elbows out to the sides, pull the towel in towards your chest like you're trying to tear it apart from right to left and then reach back out. And the more, this will feel more challenging if you think about tearing the towel apart the whole time, opposed to just bending your arms in and out. Do your best to keep breathing the whole time. Try and inhale through your nose and exhale out through your mouth. Good, slide those shoulders away from your ears. Maybe you'll get lucky and your towel will rip apart and then you won't have to use it anymore, right? Just kidding, dreams though, right? Okay, now I want you to pause with your arms straight, palms are face down, I'm gonna take my hands a little bit wider and then hands come back overhead. They're gonna bend behind the head, stretch back to the sky and lower back down. So the arms go up, Elbows bend wide, towel comes behind the head, arms stretch up and lower. Lift and bend, extend and lower. Again, lift and bend, extend and lower. Try and slide the shoulder blades down away from your ears the whole time so that you get to feel more work in your shoulders and arms and less work in those upper traps. Ooh, I'm restyling my hair. <laughs> what about you guys? Good. Let's do two more here. Hang in there. Last one. Best one. Elbows go wide. Stretch the arms overhead. And relax those arms down. Now from here, we're going to go... Oh, goodness. We're almost out of time. Okay. We're going to do some quick tricep push-ups. No stretch. So find yourself into like a modified plank position. So I'm going to have my knees down on the ground. My hands are underneath my shoulders. Slide your shoulders away from your ears. Make sure that you're in a straight line from your head to your shoulders to your knees. And then bend your elbows in tight by your sides for a tricep push-up. Bend and drop down. Press through the heels of the hands and come back up. And I only want you to go down as far as you can control. Yeah? Think about keeping your head still, opposed to letting it bob up and down. Inhale down and exhale up. Two more. Down and up. And last one. Down and up. <sighs> Sit yourself back into a child's pose stretch. Reach your tailbone down to your heels. Try and walk your hands away from your head here. Nice job, guys. Walk your hands off to the left side of your mat. 
Sit your weight in your right hip. Nice big stretch for that whole right side of your body here. A couple deep breaths, trying to relax into that right arm uh, and shoulder. And then walk your hands off to the left side of your mat. Sit your weight into your right side. Nope, not your right side, sorry, your left side. So that you feel that stretch in your left armpit, lat and side body area. Okay. And then from here, I want you guys to just lay flat on your backs. We're going to stretch your little buns out before I let you guys go, okay? So we did a lot of good work today. So cross your right ankle over your left knee, and I want you to flex your foot, toes to shins. Press your knee open with your right hand. If you feel a stretch in that right hip, stay here. For a deeper stretch, hug the leg, the left leg towards your body, and then I like to use my right elbow to press my knee open to the side for a deeper stretch. Take a couple of deep breaths to try and draw that uh, leg in towards your body. Trying to relax into that exhale a little bit more. And then lower the leg to the floor. Now we're gonna hug your right knee, so same leg, towards your left shoulder and extend your left leg. Yeah. So knee towards your opposite shoulder here. And this one you should feel just like in the whole glute region generally. And then switch legs. So we'll put your right foot on the floor, cross your left ankle over your right knee, flex your foot, press your knee open with your hands. If you feel a great stretch, stay here. For a deeper stretch, hug that right leg up towards your body, using your elbow to press your left knee open to the side. Now really important with this stretch that you continue to flex your foot up towards your shin because it helps to protect your knee now, which is very important here. And then put that right foot down. We're going to extend your right leg, hug your left knee in towards your chest, and then hug it across your body towards the opposite shoulder. So left knee to right shoulder, feeling this one in that left glute, just generally here in the hip. A couple big deep breaths, sinking into the stretch with each exhale. And then go ahead and roll onto your side, sit yourself back up, find yourself seated in a comfortable position here. So for me, I'm gonna go crisscross applesauce, relax your arms down by your sides, and then just close your eyes, yeah? Sit up nice and tall, you can just relax your arms and inhale through your nose and exhale out through your mouth. One more time, inhale through your nose and exhale. Blow all the air out. Inhale, lift your shoulders up and in towards your ears. Roll them back. Exhale, sink your shoulders down. Draw your belly button in towards your spine. Lift your pelvic floor up to meet your belly button. And give yourselves a round of applause. Nice job, guys. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much for joining me. As I mentioned earlier, my name is Jenna. I'm a master trainer with Club Pilates. Um, we have a couple of locations in the Indianapolis area. We have a location downtown, um, one in the North Indy area, one in Carmel, and one in Fishers. We would love to have you guys in for a free class when the studio opens so you can see what the equipment is like. Um, we do also offer mat stuff mixed into our apparatus based classes or special equipment classes. Um, if you enjoyed my class and you want uh, more virtual class options, we're also offering a virtual class membership. Um, if you comment below that you're interested, I'll make sure that you get a good deal. I hope you guys have a good day. I'll see you next time. I'll be here Friday 11. <laughs> Bye guys!